Christopher, we're going to have you play a game show today called What If. So what if God actually exists, sir? And what if he actually has provided everything for you? He's granted you life. He has given you health. He has given you food. What if that is true, sir? Would he not have been good to you? No. Uh, He wouldn't. Because if that were true, it would mean that I had an eternal supervising parent who would never die and let me get on with my life, never let me grow up, would keep me under surveillance. But you have, sir. And supervision every, every minute of my but, life. But and you constantly have. Asked, and constantly asked me to be thanking and praising him. Yeah. I well, think it would that be, wasn't part like, of the scenario. It would be like living in North Korea. I, I, I think it would be a horrible outcome. Well, not sure that, that, that God is Kim Jong-il, but what if what I said is well, true? Well, uh, Kim Jong-il, he has a different opinion. Round two of what if. What if God exists, he's provided everything for you, he's kept you together by the power of his, of his word. If that is truly God, if. Do you believe that that God, if he's provided everything for you, has rights on your life? No. Because? Why should he? What gives him this right? Because he owns you. He's created everything for you. He's kept well, you alive. Well, I don't want to be owned. I don't want to be owned, and I don't recognize anyone's right to own me. Here's question number three of our little game show called What If? with our special guest, Christopher Hitchens, the author of God is Not Great, How Religion Poisons Everything, which is a... I hope hyperbole, but even so. No, it isn't. Not if, oh. not if it postulates that I'm someone who's owned by someone else. All right. So that would that would ruin everything for me if it were true. Okay. So ownership is a bad thing. Of people, yes. Oh, okay. It's- I would posit to you, Christopher, that there is no fundamental difference between what the Israelites did to the Amalekites and their surrounding neighbors or enemies than what the United States did justly in going into Iraq, whether we did it principally for moral reasons. It certainly had a moral... Uh, can you possibly for one second be morally serious as a human being and say that? Well, yes, I can. We, we fulfill what, can we, we, what Iraqis did we exterminate? What Iraqis did we enslave? What Iraqi virgins did we keep for our soldiers, having killed the, the rest of their families? Well... What, what are you talking about, sir? But your, your view would be the same as mine, that child sacrifice is reprehensible, would it not? Did Abraham think child sacrifice was an okay idea? He obeyed God and God intervened. The, the, the ultimate question is, does God think child sacrifice, since he sent his own son to be the ultimate sacrifice? Well, I he mean, appears to be in favor of it. He does appear to be in favor of it, but in I context... I agree that we were not. Uh, I'm a- asking.